Law of the Artifacts of Mars, and Katie Couric is being sued for defamation and for her part in an anti-gun documentary called Under the Gun. Uh, I remember that they edited the footage to make it look like these people couldn't answer a certain question. As a result, you know, they were embarrassed in front of the nation. Second Amendment Rights Advocacy Organization, the Virginia Citizens Defense League, along with two of its members, Today, he filed a $12 million defamation lawsuit against Katie Couric, director Stephanie Soktig, Atlas Films, and Studio 3 Partners, LLC, Epics, for false and defamatory footage featured in its 2016 documentary, Under the Gun, 2016. The film portrays a fictional exchange which members of the VCDL appear silent, stumped, and avoiding eye contact for nearly nine seconds after Katie Couric asked a question about background checks. An unedited audio recording of the interview reviews that, contrary to the portrayal in the film, VCDL members had immediately begun responding to Couric's question. I remember that. I think I did a video on it. In the filing of ECDL, Daniel L. Hawk, Oz, Esquire, and Patricia Webb alleged that filmmakers knowingly and maliciously manufactured the fictional exchange by splicing in footage that the filmmakers took surreptitiously after telling the interviewers interviewees to be silent for 10 seconds so the recording equipment could be calibrated. But right there, you know, that would be a lie. It's, it takes longer than 10 seconds, I would think. So they were lied to, and top of everything else. Filing also contains side by side screenshots of films, footage of VCDL members and anti gun advocates alleging that filmmakers manipulated lying to cast shadows on the VCDL members to make them appear sinister and untrustworthy. We were horrified to see how Kirk and the team manipulated us and the video footage to make us look like fools who didn't stand up for the Second Amendment, said Mr. Philip Van Cleve, president of the VCDL. We want to set the record straight and hold them accountable for what they've done. You shouldn't intentionally misrepresent somebody's views just because you disagree with them. Agreed. Lawsuit filed in Federal District, Federal Court, United States District Court for Eastern District of Virginia and Richmond Division, seeks $12 million in compensatory damages plus punitive damages. Good. The VCDL, Mr. Haas, and Ms. Webb are rep rep represented by Tom Clare, Libby Locke and Megan Meyer of Clear Locke LLP, a boutique law firm specializing in defamatory litigation. I'm perfectly fine with this. I think she should be sued. These people are grossly unethical. Katie Cork is much like Hillary, she's a pathological liar. These people are just unethical. They don't have any... You just cannot reason with them. They're crazier than loons, basically, all right? Let me put it to you that way. Anyway, that's what we have going. I wish them well. I hope at least, uh, Katie Cork and her director there, I hope at least they walk away with this with a foot up their rear ends. They deserve much more than that. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.